Well, welcome to the Stone Roadie Podcast. It's the one you don't want to miss. It stars Craig Reed, the Stone Roadie, and Griff, the Rocket Scientist. Let's not forget Kathy Godsey and all the old friends that come along. Lord, we'll be talking Skinner and leaving you with a song. Good morning, everybody. Time to rise and shine. I'm Shelby Barrett, the Stonette for the Stone Roadie Show, and it's time to wake and bake with Craig Reed and Griff Martin. Wake and bake number six podcast 121 action well good morning ladies and gentlemen and wake welcome to wake and bake number six podcast 121 of the stoned roadie show and i'm your host craig reed the stoned roadie and this is my co-host the rocket scientist griff martin and what the heck we got going on this cold dang friday morning there griff but it's not too cold here it's only probably 65 i don't know maybe 62 but um, <laughs> shorts weather for you oh boy <laughs> cold you, here this morning what, what robe are we looking at today now correct this is alpine valley the oh, Budweiser cool. thing from alpine valley yeah the which Ab is where i mean it's alpine valley but oh god i uh Alpine Valley. I'm. You know what? I'm. That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, let me move my microphone. Alpine Valley. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not. I'm not real sure at this point. Yeah, but this is. This is not a hotel robe. This is a. Uh, a gig robe. When we did a show, and you know, I always got whatever the band got. I always got whatever they got. You know, because I. I was what kind of almost i traveled with the band so uh yeah whatever they got i got so this is one of the robes like they'd give to the the band now all the crew guys they didn't get get stuff like this you know i was pretty special to get stuff like this because i traveled with the band you know <laughs> so what year would you say that robe is you think you know what i don't know i, I have no idea what year this is from well damn craig next time you steal something write it down man <laughs> <laughs> god i got so many of these ding things yeah but yeah. that they gave to you so that wasn't yeah. that wasn't one you high as a matter of stuff. fact you know i've i've been I've, people been you know, now that we're on the topic of these robes People have been asking me how much I want to sell one of these robes for, you know. And it's funny because uh, we we got to talk about uh, that that uh, that giveaway we had. Uh, oh that, yeah, we can kind of loop for that two microphone, <laughs> boy. I have uh, look at the cards I have here. These these came in after the giveaway. I mean, Lori Shoemaker mailed her card out December the twenty eighth, and it and and it got here the day after the drawing, because she she cause she said Craig, because you you know if you watch the the podcast, I every name that went into every you know we didn't use these cards because it would be too cumbersome to try to pull these out of a hat. It wouldn't really be fair, so we tried to try I tried to think of the the. Um, the most um, fair way to do that. So I was, uh, you know, trying to use. I was going to use poker chips or or um, or checkers or something. You know, that, that would be the same thing. And I just happened to be running one of those uh, um, uh, silver dollars that I had on the airplane with me. You know, I I've only sold the uh, forty of those, forty one to two of those things in uh since uh 2005 i call them lucky silver dollars and i i sell them they go for a bunch of money too they go for over a couple hundred bucks normally you know and i give a debtor of authenticity and time got but they were on the airplane that's why but they're 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 bicentennial 1976 ones you know I, everybody know well i tell everybody i collect everything i ever have you know but 
But yeah, I decided to use those as the uh, as the the tokens to pull out of the bowl for the winner of the of the microphone. And I and I, oh my, a lot of people like some of the people that are even in here sent more than one application in, you know, and, and I talked to my board of directors about the situation, you know, and they goes, no, no, no. Now, if they put money in there in the envelope, then they can, you know, they can send one in for every, you know, but uh, that's why I, I showed the bottom of the bowl. I said, you know, there's nothing in here. There's no, nothing in here. And then I put each individual coin in there and then, and then I showed my hands, you know, that there was noth nothing fancy going on. And I reached right in there and pulled out the first coin. And I was kind of disappointed because the, 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 uh, the name that I pulled out, I didn't recognize at all. And there's people that in there that, you know, I, there was a few people in there I kind of were hoping that would win it, you know. But I pulled out this name. It was uh, Teresa McMurray. McMurray. And I yeah. Went, I went, I've known her. I don't even know who that is, darn. I wish it would have been somebody else, you know, that I know. So I looked on Facebook and I couldn't even find they weren't my friend or nothing. And I'm, get, I'm going, who is this person that won this microphone, you know? So then I, I was talking to Griff and, 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 and Griff said, oh, I, I, I found out who, who, who won the micro, who this, uh, um, uh, uh, Teresa McMurray is and that goes. Well, how did you find out? I've been looking for. Her. I I I got on Facebook and found one on Facebook. I said, "Are you the one, the Teresa McMurray that won the the contest?" You know, and I never heard back from her. So he said, "It's it's Shelby Barrett, our our Stone Rody, our Stone Ed, <laughs> our Stone Ed. <laughs> it's her mother's best friend." And yeah. and I talk, and and then I heard about this, and Shelby told me, you know, uh, last night she goes, yeah, she said, I heard that on, I I saw the drawing, and I called my mother's friend, and I said, hey, you won that uh, microphone. She goes, well, Shelby, I sent that app uh, that thing in for you. She said, I, I, I planned on if I won it, I was going to give it to you. So <laughs> turns out that our our Stonette won that <laughs> that that micro. <laughs> so it looks shady but it's not <laughs> but oh my god it's uh it's uh, but you know i called it man i said you know this is divine intervention there's something weird going on here but yeah but that was meant to be but you know what you know me and griff were kind of amused by the whole thing that you guys got so all this guy that jerry bursky he said you know, I was finally in a drawing where I, I I had a chance to win something. There was only 26 people in that thing, and I still couldn't win, you know. <laughs> I laughed, you know. And, and you know, there were some people that were really upset because they didn't win that night. But, and but you said, know why, Craig? Do you know why? It wasn't uh, because of the microphone. It was because of the coin. <laughs> Well, you know, you know that. That's why I said it's a, those are lucky coins, and, and lucky you. I still have a couple that you know. I'll I'll still give away a couple of those on a on a future drawing. But we're not going to be able to do that uh, uh, drawing thing like we did. I think expect since we're starting to we're going. I'm going to start giving it away for your subscription. So yeah. <laughs> That's how that guy, Mr. Beast, that's how he bumped up all his subscriptions. He started giving stuff away. So, shit, I got a lot of stuff to give away. A lot of, stuff, a lot of better stuff, shit than that damn microphone. That to we oh, told yeah. you that. You know, but, you know, whoever won that, you know, there was, there was only 26 people that we drawed up. But like I said, there was a couple more. But, you know, we had... A, we had uh, more cards than that that came in but some of you guys sent in four or five you know which yeah that was we, we did we didn't specify you could but you know there was some of you sent your your, your you and your wife but we sent both so on and so but that's okay but uh you know that that's perfectly legal you know but uh but but anyways uh yeah so yeah we're gonna have to start doing these drawings but we're not gonna I don't know how we're going to do it yet. I think we're going to maybe do something where you write into my uh, 
my post office uh, to my uh, email to my email address, and then as the things come in, we'll give you a number, and then at the end of the thing, we'll we'll draw a number, and and that's how you'll win. But you know, we can't do that individual coin thing every every yeah. time. No, not if we start getting a, you know a couple hundred, which I you know I hope we do, but. Uh, but yeah, but but, an, uh, but another thing, you know, we we're doing towards uh, raising money for um, um, we're we're doing to, for raising money for Mark Howard. We got Lacey's book up uh, on. I'm running on my my e uh, on my um, on my um, bu- 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 my eBay account, and um, someone someone like on the second day. Come up and said, "Okay, we're just gonna cut the bullshit. You know, I'll, I'll just give you a thousand dollars for that book, and just go ahead and pull it. And uh, you know, I'll just give you a thousand dollars for it. Which, you know, that's a that's. It, it, I think it's up to like four something now, which is quite a bit, you know. But uh, it's gonna take a lot to beat that thousand uh, dollar bid, but." I told the guy, I says, man, I can't do it. You know, I put that thing up for auction. Now, you know, everybody feels like they have a chance to at least try to win the, the auction to get that book. I said, you know, if I would pull it, they would be mad that, you know, we didn't give them a, at least give everybody a chance. I just sold it and not, didn't ask anybody. So, man, I'm sorry, but we can't do that. But, you know, we got a long way to go on, on my eBay account to, to meet that meet that thousand dollar offer, we're only about halfway there, and, and even if we sell it for a thousand dollars on eBay, we'd have to sell it for eleven fifty because they're going to charge about one hundred and fifty dollars in fees, you know. So, you know, I'm not trying to bump it up, but <coughs> that Mark <coughs> that money would go to Mark Howard, and I hate to make a bad decision by <laughs> turning down a thousand dollars cash but i didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings by you know taking it away from them you know this last drawing you know people got got their got kind of mad because they didn't win that doggone microphone you know but <laughs> like griffs i don't know maybe it was the coin but i got more of those coins and i got shed a lot better than that microphone so we'll We'll make we'll make up for it. Well, you know, and the, and this time, yeah, it won't take three weeks to, to get a card through the mail. We're gonna we're gonna eliminate that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If your name, if you're if you're one of these people in this in this stack here, and we didn't call your name, your name is automatically included in the next uh, drawing. So the next drawing, don't even bother sending a. Send them one in. You're automatically included, and and that's Lori Shoemaker, Jim Jennings, JJ, which you would think might be the same Jim Jennings, but no, it's a different uh, address and a different state and everything. <laughs> and uh, Jack West and Cindy Hudson and um, TP. All you guys are going to be uh, uh, included in the uh, next draw, drawing automatically, and that's all I got, Griff. Uh, I do, 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 project, do, do, do you, do you already know what the item is going to be? Well, um, I think maybe we'll we'll probably give away one of these robes, and uh, I imagine I don't know. Uh, you know, we'll. Uh, Maybe maybe if you win, we'll give you a choice between a terry cloth robe and a Japanese kimono. I don't know. We'll figure out what to do, you know. But you know, but whatever we give away would be better than that microphone, you know. Oh yeah. But yeah, I uh, guess maybe I guess maybe this next time we'll have to give another coin away, you know. Since and I don't know, maybe people did want that more, you know. So yeah, we'll give you another chance at yeah. one of them coins. But uh, yeah, no, we don't know when we're gonna start this. Maybe. You know, we'll probably have a giveaway um, probably once a month, maybe. You know, we're yeah, going to start cool. a giveaway. Going to start a giveaway <laughs> to up our subscriptions. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of shit well, going to uh, give away. <laughs> well, well you, you, you have a, a lot of stuff, so 
I think for you, it's not a big deal. I, and people appreciate anything that you would give them, Craig, because they know it's some good shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I got dub, I'll find my hotel keys. Maybe if I got doubles of that hotel key, maybe. I'll yeah, maybe you can match the key with the with the robe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give them a give them a Holiday Inn key and a Holiday Inn robe, and put the key in the pocket. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I would make a nice little necklace. You know, put the key on and say, where'd you get that key? We'll figure out something. Yeah, it's, 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 it's comical. People are going, how much you want for one of them robes? <laughs> so, yeah, so that's. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna uh, dial in a good way to where it's not confusing. And the next time we do it, it'll be easy to keep track of. And it'll be easier to see who won. And, you know, you got to remember, Craig and I, we just started giving this stuff away, man. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah, this is just, uh, you know, this is just all. Yeah, you know, me and Griff have said before, all the stuff that just just happens just kind of seems to happen like it's supposed to happen and just kind of working its way out. But if you if you just feel like you got to have one of them coins, I got one up for sale on eBay that's going to close this Sunday. <laughs> well, maybe the guy that wanted to give you a thousand for the book will just go ahead and get on it. <laughs> yeah, that'd work. Yeah, I mean yeah. that would be cool. You know. Yeah, you didn't, oh, Sammy, you didn't make him mad. <laughs> Sammy bought me another bottle of Hell House whiskey. I, oh, he cool. got the other one because he had, yeah, he he hadn't uh, he hadn't tasted it yet. He, Sammy, he he collects bourbon. You know, I can't collect bourbon. It comes, it evaporates <laughs> even with the cork on it. <laughs> but he hoped. He had to open it. We he tasted it. He just take one little taste, but then it, the rest of the bottle just evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> so once got, you crack it, gone. then it's oh, you know, it's then gone. It, yeah, once it, now it's sipping whiskey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. You remember when I came up to your uh, high school reunion? Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, and you were telling me the story about that lady who who uh wanted to challenge ronnie to a drinking contest at grandma oh granny oh my god great granny yeah I'd, when i got with the band you know they were you know like that i don't know if you ever saw the the interview that sharon lawrence did when she met the band she said they sharon's the one that gave them the image of a bunch of bikers and stuff you know and she and she was going they were like babies you know they would split a bottle of liquor and stuff you know but uh but um oh yeah 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 and it was kind of and it was uh it was like they they would be drinking and, I, and they was talking about how much they could drink, you know. And I go, God, I know some woman that's in her nineties that I'll, I'll drink all you guys put together, you know. <laughs> Grandma, we called her, you know. So yeah, when we come up to Ohio, I don't think they believed me. I think they was just t think I was telling telling a bunch of tall tales, so they wanted to go see Grandma. So I took her to see Grandma, and we stopped and got a little bottle of Jack Daniels and went and seen her. I said, "Look, Grandma, we we brought you a bottle, you know." And she said, "Oh God, go get me a, a glass with a handle <laughs> on it." <laughs> and she said, and she said. Uh, Put get put some uh, I uh put just put a little bit of water in there you know, and um, and uh, you know you just pour her a bunch of about that much whiskey and put about that much water in it you know? and that's what I did. She goes, oh, a little more water, you know. She drank that dump while those guys just looked, <laughs> and uh, oh, they were impressed. Yeah, Ronnie, uh, she had a harmonica, and uh, it was put together with rubber bands or something, you know, and she was trying to blow on it and sing and, and play songs, uh, and she was playing the old cat shit and the shavings and, <laughs> and stuff, and Ronnie was laughing. So he went out the next city we went to and bought her a, a Honer harmonica, and you know. Oh, that like, was nice. Yeah, yeah. So I, she she got it, you know. But yeah, but yeah, Grandma. Yeah, she's uh she was a hoot. I used to take her to all the bars around here. Took her to all the night spots, all the 
all of the hot clubs where all the bands were playing, you know. <laughs> I'd take Grandma, and she, she drank for free. Everywhere I went took her, she drank for free. <laughs> it was a riot, man. <laughs> Those Skinner guys, they they wanted to make sure that Grandma wasn't going to out drink them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they was, it was funny, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you were telling me earlier, too, about that. Um, and I found it kind of funny you know that gunji shirt on uh that you were Gun, wearing on jaw company yeah, yeah 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 um and you were telling me that that bicycle in that picture is alan's bicycle no 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 that was my that was chad's mother's bicycle oh yeah yeah oh, i thought one. you said that oh you've got one of alan's bikes yeah yeah i got alan this is a funny alan lost his driver's license you know and I was I was wanting to get this dang Schwinn, you know this the they had a Paramount that was like six hundred bucks. I mean, this is nineteen six seventy six. I mean that was a lot of money for a Schwinn Paramount, it was like six hundred bucks, and you know, so yeah. uh, so then um, Alan lost his driver's license, you know, and he was wondering what to do. I said, man, go down and get you a ten speed, Alan, you know. He said, and he kind of you know, was amused with the idea. So he went and down and bought the, that Voyager. That was the model just under the Paramount. It was a nice bike, you know. And so he, he rode it like once and, <laughs> and had it in a couple few months. And I, could, I was over there. He goes, Alan, you don't ride that bike. And he goes, ah, I said, well, sell it to me. So he he sold it to me. I forget how much I paid him for it, you know, but yeah, yeah. So I got that. I got that. Uh, that was when he lived over. Uh, I lived at the, on the West side. He still lived on the West side over there behind theater, uh, um, uh, St. John's theater, you know, over there in that little small house. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I remember cool. being down in your basement there and, and you say, and there's Alan's bike right there. And I was like, damn, yeah. Craig's always got something that, you know, they're over at his house and you don't even know what it is. And it's somebody famous had it, you know? Well, yeah. So I bought that bike. So then I, we had to go buy, uh, Chad's mom had, uh, Chad had a bike and then we had to go buy Chad's mom a bike. And then we all, we all rode bikes, but yeah, I still have, yeah, I still have that bike. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, well, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, uh, do you think, is it still in condition you could ride it? Oh, the tires are rotted. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. trust it. Yeah, I haven't ridden it. I, the last time I rode it was like 2000. Yeah, it's been, I haven't ridden it for 20, and w 20 What years. year do you think the bike is? It's 76. 76? Damn, that's mm -hmm. collectible on its own right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you had the American Pickers in there, and you said <laughs> that was Alan Collins' bike, they'd they uh, he'd he'd spring on that for sure. <laughs> yeah, those Voyagers are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I got some uh, uh, another thing written down here. He was talking about old uh, cousin Figel and that song Seasons. Yeah, he he sends me this stuff. Of course, I'd heard Seasons before, you know. Uh, and and I and I was I says you know that that's not Ronnie you know that's that that's Ricky singing you know and um, and, and then I just started thinking you know I, everybody wants to say that Ricky wasn't a, a original member of Leonard Skinner and during that whole video thing it's showing Le the band Leonard Skinner and it's showing Ricky's picture and there's several of them you know and um you know and I, I and then I, I remember Ricky see it, uh, doing an interview where he was kind of hurt because uh you know he was wasn't inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame like like the rest of the the band when he was like an original member of course some people kind of think otherwise that they don't consider ricky Dale, but i i always did you know but uh you know it's like i don't know like that like the beatles like they had that that drummer of best uh, you know everybody knows oh he, yeah he was right, before yeah. ringo but i don't guess there was any ever recordings of best that ever 
made it to the charts or whatever. Maybe that's why he didn't wasn't considered a right. Well, know, he he recorded at Muscle Shoals. But well, yeah, but, but Beth, that drummer, the Beatles drummer, he never did anything that was recorded. Yeah, but Ricky, Ricky did. Yeah, there was there was two album. There was an album released. I mean, Seasons and and uh, and um, White Dove. I mean, R Ricky sang both of those songs, and they were they were released. You know, so it's kind of different. You know, but uh, yeah, they didn't. Um, it didn't didn't seem to make a difference to them, but you know, but yeah, that, that, those are good songs. You know, I, you can tell it's not Ronnie. Ronnie couldn't; his pitch isn't were near that high. You know, you know? he said there's also a like the first version of Freebird too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He posted that the first version of Freebird. You know, Billy's Billy was just using a Wurlitzer, and it was just a little intro and. Uh, Oh yeah, it's, it's totally different now. Yeah, the first, the first that was the first recorded version. Yeah, yeah. Well, Craig, what what item do you think we're gonna? Put well, 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 we were talking. We were talking about uh, that bicycle on the porch, oh, but yeah. that 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 picture. People, people, everybody started talking about cedar because I said that this was Cedar Cove on the west side, and people people were going well. Oh, uh, matter of fact, let me let me find this here. People are going, well, that's Cedar. Uh, that's the West Side. I said, well, didn't didn't Don Barnes uh, live in that apartment? That that apartment thing. Let me let me see here if I can find this. I'm not very organized this morning. Oh, I don't wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Godsey. Uh, I talked to her last night, and and she was been talking to uh, 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 Bob Burns's friend. Uh, that that was Bob's friend was friend, uh, you know, right before he died and everything. And he's got he's got a bunch of stories to to tell about Bob. So that'll be kind of cool. Here it is. Okay, here's the picture of. Uh, of me and the uh, uh, on sitting on the porch uh, with the bicycle behind me. Now, right, uh, right there, right through there, under that staircase, right there. It's really blurry, but there's an apartment right through there, and that's that's just about where Don Barnes lived, right there <laughs> on the bottom floor. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Right there, under that staircase. Yeah, it'd be right there. Mm -hmm. you know, right there, on the bottom floor. See, there's an apartment right there on the bottom. Was yeah. that like right, right next to you? Yeah, that, that's a. There's a swimming pool right here. There was a swimming pool right here in between us, right here. There's a swimming pool right there. Yeah, and, and that is a lady's bike right there. So that must that must yeah, have been that, one that of was, your wives. That was, that was Sue. That was Chad's mother's wife, Sue. That was her bike. And then Chad's bike is right there. You can see the frame of it down there under there. What is that by your left hand? Is that a dog? No, it's an Indian um, statue. Oh. It's a, his head there. Yeah, it's an Indian statue. You probably you probably still have the shirt and the Indian statue. I don't have the statue, but I I I have the shirt somewhere. It's it. I still have that shirt somewhere. It's <laughs> it'd be like trying to find a needle in the haystack. But yeah, I still have that shirt somewhere. Well, <laughs> now what what year was that, Craig? You know what. I thought that was 1976, but there's a, uh, there's, it's not, there's a whole, that's 1977, right? Two weeks, three weeks, be, you know, a month, maybe right before the plane crash. And there's oh, a, wow. there's a, there's a story behind that picture that I might get into later. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, there's a yeah. I remembered when I looked at that. I I I, uh, I remembered there's a quite a story behind that picture. <laughs> well, yeah, you'll have to tell us that one, man. <laughs> or you can tell me, and then and I'll tell <laughs> yeah, them. There's a there's quite a story behind that picture. Yeah, but anyways, 
So, hey, Craig, which what do you want to um, put up for auction next? Next, do you want to do the? Um, uh, you know what? There's the a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, oh, auction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I guess we can do that, and uh, yeah, we can do that. So this is our an early heads up, you guys. You know, that's for, we, that's for the that's for the auction on 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 eBay, eBay. That's on yeah. my eBay account. That's not one of the giveaway things. That's to that's to uh, all right. the proceeds for that goes to Mark mm -hmm. Howard. And and then we're gonna and this isn't gonna go with it. Greg wants to do all these separate, and these are the backstage passes, and so he's gonna offer those separately. So you you know you have a chance for. Or independently, we, we could these. We could, we could. I could run both uh, that CD and one of those passes on on Sunday. However, you want to do it. Separately. You're the expert. You take but, pictures um, for me. Give them a heads up that you know. Be looking for it. You know, on the next podcast that, or uh, not podcast, but on the next uh, eBay draw or uh, bid that Craig has on eBay. And, uh, yeah, so, so there's some pretty cool stuff. And then we even got those, um, pictures in the back that, uh, we're going to auction those off. There's Ronnie's arrest record. We still have that. <laughs> and there's, uh, some other posters and things too, um, that, that we can get rid of, uh, and all of that stuff will go to, uh, Mark Howard, um, but uh, yeah, the uh, uh, that uh, thanks uh, to everybody for the nice comments on uh, Six Gun and their performance at the Manatee Fest. That was a really great show. Um, I was just glad it didn't rain. You know, I mean, if it would have rained on that thing, that would have been bad. But um, what the heck, <laughs> Cheech, Cheech and Chong? <laughs> I can put that joint right in my mouth. Look. <laughs> <laughs> these green screens are hard to work with they're backwards there you go <laughs> yeah so yeah the uh the uh, manatee fest that was pretty good and thanks for all the great comments and um i i would put up a, you know a, a jimmy buffett um couple songs that was on it the, that they play there but i don't think you guys are probably your big jimmy buffett fans and if somebody wants to see that put them in the comments and then on one of the next podcasts or something i'll put it at uh put it in there that was on the uh at the manatee fest they they came on right before six gun another thing that's uh going on you know sometimes craig we you know you get a little bit of clout by being on the uh, stone roadie show i got a a free ticket to go uh watch uh, leonard skinner they're not really a tribute band but they're gonna do i guess some leonard skinner music and uh, anybody that lives near polk county where where i live near lakeland um january 25th at union hall which is 1023 south florida avenue joe's garage band is going to be doing some leonard skinner songs and some southern rock stuff that starts at 7 p.m if anybody wants to come meet me there and uh it's 10 bucks to get in that's an old bar i used to go to when i was a kid it was called zimmerman's and now it's called union hall and they have uh pretty cool bands coming in there so i'm going to go down there and, and videotape that and i'll put that on the podcast and see what you guys think about these guys and their Skinner music, which is always cool. Yeah, Kathy Godsey told me she went to a Leonard. She was invited to a Leonard Skinner tribute band uh, Saturday Night Special, or I'm not sure. But we're gonna have, do a podcast on um, February third, a Saturday Night Special, and she can she can talk more about that then if she. Oh, wants okay, to cool. But, uh, February third. February 3rd, yeah, that's when Bob Burns' uh, friend's going to be on. She's got to try to arrange that, yeah. Saturday yeah. night special, so. And I actually have a meeting with uh, with Leslie Hawkins, the first, uh, at, a, at a, a secret place. And so I'll I'll get some video footage with her and, and uh, a little bit. She probably wants to thank everybody for what they're doing and sending in the uh, – the, uh, 
donations and stuff. So I'll be taking her a check. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, hear from, from Leslie Hawkins, which is going to be cool. But other than that, Craig, I don't have anything else, man. That's about it. We no, can, man, um, I don't either. You know, these, uh, <clears throat> these morning, Monday morning, uh, specials are a little bit shorter than our normal jibber jabber. Well, this, this is a Friday morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know when you're retired every day is kind of the same yeah day, every know? day is a saturday oh god yeah. and i'm gonna um and i'm gonna get this uh microphone boxed up and ready for its new owner and i'm gonna throw um a poster in and a sticker and uh of course craig's got the coin and the letters of authenticity and just so happens that uh, now Shelby didn't win it. Her her <laughs> mother's best friend won it. She's just being it's being given to her. But I don't know uh, if if her if her if her mother's best friend sees it, she might go. You know what? I want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was I was <laughs> bummed out. I said, "Man, there's other people I I'd like to have seen won that." Besides, that's the, just like the auto drawing. I don't the, even know. At, you know, at the no. monument, you, you remember the auto drawing at the monument? Oh he, God, that was my buddy Sammy said, "Craig, that looked fixed." I'm going, Sammy, how could it be fixed, man? I, I was, had, I was going yeah. nothing on my sleeve. She, you know, and I ran in there, and it was a clear bag, and I just pulled one out and I looked at it. And I went, "Oh no." <laughs> Well, knowing Otto, he probably bought 10 tickets. He said he didn't remember, but he thought he only bought three. I bought, when I bought one, uh, Brandon Miller, he was going, oh, God, I would hate to see if you won. But <laughs> I know. I had, I had, uh, I had sold some of those business cards and I numbered them and I told everybody, I said, you know, I was going to get a ticket. And if I won, that I was going to, out of those 10 tickets, I was going to draw, you know, those 10 tickets and give the tickets to the winner. <laughs> and Sorry. Otto said, you think I should do give that giveaway? I said, man, that guy spent so much money. Oh, my God. When he was involved with us, he, he, he spent about 25 grand just yeah. having a good time, you know. <laughs> but he had to get back to the real world, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You hadn't seen him. Somebody was asking, where's Otto? And I think he's he might be trying oh, to make, God. Yeah, make he some. Oh, God, yeah. He get back to the real world, man. He, yeah. He had his one, two boys running his business, and that didn't work out too good. And uh, I, I guess I think that guy lost about seventy five grand messing around with with us. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, because we had so much stuff. Work. We used him. We pimped him out for our camera man. Hey, Otto, run down there and yeah. run the camera for us. You know, <laughs> Chad. He, Chad was trying to get me to buy a bunch of damn camera equipment. Otto was going to run it, and I'm going. Ah. <laughs> That's why it's easier just for me to record it instead of oh, doing that God. live thing. Cause that live thing is too hard, man. It's just, Oh you know. man. He was wanting me to get a board and set up, a, go into a place and set up a computer and a board and a bunch of wireless stuff. Oh, I don't know. He goes, no, that's, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, cause we, it, can, we can do like, when when the country gets locked down, we can do live shows. <laughs> <laughs> that was my idea. When the country gets <laughs> locked down, there won't be any live shows. Well, we can get a private club down there, and we can put on our <laughs> own live shows. <laughs> yeah, because because there is going to be a lockdown coming. I got oh, a feeling. God, you yeah, heard it here first on the Stone Road Show. <laughs> <laughs> Lord knows what's coming, but something's coming. That's for dumb. Something's coming, an EMP or an alien oh, or a, a, some kind of a geothermal incident. There, there will be an EM, EMP. I mean, that's that's inevitable. There's there's going to be one of them suckers. And wherever it explodes, eastern and western hemisphere, it'll wipe them out. But, you know, depending how near or far up or down it was, it's depending on the the uh the spread it'll have but yeah it's gonna knock whatever it hits but, out 
Well, there may be a civil war down there at the border where the, the state of Texas is fighting the federal government over letting these illegals in. So, you know, let's see what happens with that. Well, we got that this cold spell going now, and all these electric cars are oh, dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they won't charge. <laughs> yeah, all these electric cars won't start their own. This co- hey, you know, cold weather affects your battery. <laughs> yeah, everything that Mr. B touches goes to shit. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Yeah, my electric car won't start. I had a heck of a time finding a six-cylinder vehicle, you know, that a, a fuel-powered vehicle, combustion engine. Finding a six-cylinder anymore is, is trouble, you know, unless you get a truck. <laughs> most cars are, you know, they, they've, they've got the four-cylinders in them, you know, and so I had to get with a later model car so I could keep my six-cylinder which got me in trouble because I got a ticket last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But you can't fight City Hall. So <laughs> Those Indy cars are only four-cylinder, and they'll go 200 and some mile an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, I tell you what, they're getting pretty crappy to try to make you drive an electric car. should be your choice. You know, you should be able to to drive anything you want you shouldn't be told that you know you got to go plug into a windmill oh uh, after that damn lexus i got blew up i got a 283 chevy engine down there in my basement i'm fixing to go get a car and stick that in there somewhere and just oh, yeah. drive it. i can work on that one myself that, that thing ain't locked up on you how long has it been no there? that's the one out of the that's the one out of allen's hot rod as soon as i sold that car that guy pulled the engine out and put a big engine in it and i got the engine back that's the original allen collins engine no the the engine that was in there that allen had in there was locked up so i went and bought another engine and used some of the parts off that you know i used another oh. shirt and, and bored it out and stuff yeah yeah, I had to rebuild that whole car. Oh wow! But uh, I didn't know that. I thought it was all just the same way. No, it was. I had to. No, I had to redo that whole thing, man. I had but to still, new, I had to put a new steering. I had to put a new steering system in it, and all kind of stuff. It had an old sloppy ass steering system, and I put to put a steering system in and out of a, a Buick Vista <laughs> station and, wagon. <laughs> and before Allen had that car, who had it before Allen? Leon. Right, that's what I thought. Yeah, Leon. Yeah, the, the Leon got it. Allen pestered the shit out of him until he sold it to him. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, where did Leon get it? Don't know that. No, no, I don't know that. He maybe the same place he had that red bucket tea he had. Yeah, I guess there's a chance the guy that bought it from you is not around anymore. I've seen him since 2000 and for 10 years. 10 years I yeah. have seen him. Yeah, be kind of curious uh, to see where that car is now. Yeah, yeah, he went to Texas with it. Yeah, but yeah. Because you 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 sold him some some other things too. Oh God, yeah, I sold him a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, he was he was hot on the trot to buy anything he could from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you guys, you know, while Craig's in a giving mood, you know, start paying attention because you never know what he's going to put up here on the Stone Roadie Show for a drawing. So like and subscribe because. Um, you know, I, you guys are going to be watching to get the subscription I had, I, up. I had one of those in memory of Ronnie hats, and he bought so much stuff off of me. I gave him that hat, and um, and he he said he was going to take acetone and wipe in memory of Ronnie out of it, and just you and just leave Ronnie Van Zant in there like the guy that. Did, did it pawn stars <laughs> is that what that guy did is that where that I, one came I, from you know all those hats they only had yeah ronnie never had his hat inscribed in those hats that was that's what somebody did they took acetone and wiped out in memory of out of there and just left ronnie van zan in it and they <laughs> yeah he, I mean, yeah, he didn't put his name in there 
right? Uh, I I I am I ordered those hats off of Charlie One Horse and Texas Hatters. I was the one that, or you know, I was the one that initiated the uh, that whole thing. That and whole you thing. were the guy that brushed and steamed the hat and everything, right? <laughs> Well, no, not in, the, in those days. I didn't know how to do that. When the tribute band started back up, Clayton Johnson did that, and he he learned how to do it with the the, the steamer that we used to steam the the wardrobe with. Uh, you know, we'd put it uh, put it in the wardrobe and we'd take it out instead of using an iron. We used a steamer, a Jiffy steamer. And, uh, yeah, if you just use a steam on a hat, it'll soften the leather and then you can form it. And I can, I can, I can do it. I, I have a, a hat form right there. I can put a hat on there and store it. And I'm not the best at it, but I'm, I'm not too bad. <laughs> Your hat, that Leonard Skinner hat, you need to put it on there and I need to steam it and make it. So it's not all. It looks like you've been sleeping in it. <laughs> yeah, that's just how. This is just how I got it from you. It needs form. Well, it like needs this. form. <laughs> well, I'm gonna sleep in it again tonight. So I, I noticed so. that last time. I said he needs to bring that head up. I'll form it for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next time I see you, I'll bring it, and you can steam it for me. Yeah, you sent me that jacket and that. Um, Hat your sister from uh, Boeing, man. That's nice. That's Lockheed. Yeah, it's from Lockheed. Yeah, yeah. yeah Lockheed. F thirty three. Yeah, cool. Yeah, All right, Craig man. Likes, we I'm Craig like, likes gifts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got some that's hard to get get from people too. He likes the ones that he. Craig told me I like gifts that nobody else has. <laughs> I got people wanting to buy me stuff all the time. I had a guy yesterday when I, I I told him a secret about something I wanted to indulge, in. and he, guy, I, just for that secret, I'm, I'm I'm what do you need? I'll go to Home Depot and get you anything you want. I told him, I said, oh I said if I wanted it, if I needed, it, I probably already have it, and I probably got more than one of them. <laughs> But, yeah, because I didn't mean to insult. I can you. vouch I for not. that. I need to get rid of more. I don't need anything else. You know, <laughs> that's yeah. why I got. I got a bunch of shit that's a lot better than that microphone. <laughs> I need and, to get and you can't. You know, you can't pull a U-Haul trailer behind the hearse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah ain't no way i'll ever wear all those robes <laughs> unless i give them away <laughs> yeah and it cost a bunch to ship those suckers out though but yeah oh well well yeah. you know if we get we we also we're not you know stopping the donations you guys still want to donate you know that's uh that they're definitely going to accept them and then of course craig's PO box if you want to donate and it will go to whoever you want it to go to. <coughs> if you don't specify, then it will go to everyone. So, and that's, you know, the guys that we've been sharing with that uh, given the donations to. So from the yeah, plane we crash. We got our last one from Linda Wright. She sent twenty five bucks in for Leon. So I mean for Leon. <laughs> Gene. Gene. <laughs> yeah, <God. laughs> Leon. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for my sign. I don't have my sign. Oh, here it is, right here. It's uh, yeah, this is this is what. Oh need, yeah, right really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Craig. That's it, man. That's all I got. All right. Uh, okay. Wake and bake number five six is uh is um history <laughs> number uh stone roadie show number 120 is a thing of the past and uh happy trails to you until we meet again and uh we'll call I'm that a wrap crack and... his whiskey <laughs> later happy trails to you Happy trails to you, keep talking.
broken until then.